My four-year-old just came up to me and asked if she could play with my Dumbo Trump flag. Mm, No, she didn't. And if a four-year-old ever did, in some sort of parallel universe, go up to her mother and ask to play with a Dumbo Trump flag, that would tell me what a psycho the mum was. And I said, my Dumbo Trump flag? I don't have one of those. And yes, she calls him Dumbo. I just never corrected her. And she goes, yeah, you do. This one. And I feel like it's kind of profound. Oh, of course you do. Of course you feel it's profound. And that's because you're so very shallow. You're so utterly possessed by your political ideology that your four-year-old child is picking up on your total disdain for certain sections of society. Lovely. Very profound. Did he ruin the flag for anybody else? Just me? Unfortunately, as we shall see in the rest of this video... No, it's not just you. I'm 46, and when I turn 50 and my husband is all better, we plan on moving out of this country and somewhere else in the world. Oh, so you're giving yourself plenty of time then, you know, just in case, it, you know, you don't want to commit to anything, do you? You know, but you're 46, giving yourself four years, and also your husband's ill or something, so you're going to have to wait for him to get better, of course, you know, just, just make sure that any pledges you make are vague enough that when you don't follow through, nobody notices. No idea where yet, just not here. So my question is, is there a place we can move that people would be happy to have us? Nope. That we're not gentrifying or colonizing? Oh, how bloody thoughtful of you both. You wouldn't want to gentrify an area, would you? Wouldn't want to come across as a pair of colonialists, Mr. and Mrs. Vasco da Gama. No, no, God, no. You need to move to a country where people look like you and have a similar economic level to you. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense, because, you know, otherwise you'd just be, like, bigoted, wouldn't it? Is there a way to do this? Oh, there are a multitude of ways. Yes, of course, every country has its own rules and whatnot, you know, to get a visa or passport for one country or another. I mean, there's a whole myriad of ways. And, of course, you've got all the time in the world. You've set yourself a, a, an easy target of four or five years and your husband's illness to get over. That's more than enough time to do a few Google searches and perhaps, I don't know, get in touch with a few local embassies. I mean, surely you've done some research already. If not, what an odd place to start, you know, telling everyone on TikTok about your intention in four or five years to leave the United States. It's almost as though you'd... Oh my God. Do you really even want to leave the United States? I don't want to be a problem, but I need to get the fuck out of this country. Okay, well, why don't you start by getting the fuck off of TikTok? If you woke up in a good-ass mood today, you put on your red, white, and blue, please go buy a gallon of gasoline, pour it on yourself, and then light that bitch up. Because what the fuck? Aw, happy 4th of July to you too, you sassy little misanthrope, you. At this point in my life, a pickup truck with an American flag attached to the back, speeding down a street, gives me pause, and I look for safety. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made-up tale. There is nothing like leaving America to remind you that you are traumatized. Yeah, right. I mean, you go to other countries and they're not all wrapped up in all this identity politics bollocks, you know. They're just kind of getting on with their lives. They've got more substance to them. I'm in Spain right now. And I... it Being here has only made it more obvious that, like, I move through my everyday life in America as someone who expects aggression when I enter a space and someone who expects harm. Yeah, there's definitely more violent crime in America than there is here in Spain, but you put an asterisk next to white Americans there. Almost everyone's white in Spain. 
I don't know how to break that to you. It's almost as though race were not the problem, but rather your intersectional worldview, which seeks to divide every single person in society into groups of either oppressors or victims along the lines of the immutable characteristics. You massive narcissist. I was driving around yesterday with my husband and we kept seeing um, American flags everywhere for 4th of July. And um, am I the only one that Trump has ruined the flag for because now I just see American flags and go, oh yeah, those are probably assholes. You know, I was about to tear into this horrible woman's personality. I was about to say, how dare you judge someone for carrying a flag, for showing a bit of patriotism, for having one day a year when they get to feel proud of what they belong to. But then I realized I have the same visceral reaction to people with purple hair. Am I the only one that like looks at American flags and I'm just like, ugh. Well, as we've already firmly established in this video, no, you're not the only one to have a negative and very visceral reaction at the sight of the flag of your own fucking country. But you are the first one so far to make such a nauseating noise. I'm just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Like someone just, I'm on the beach with American flag chair. Did someone just come on the beach with an American flag chair? Why are you talking like that, you fucking narcissist? And they're giving me a very, like, Trumpy vibe. <laughs> I don't think American flag is, like, very Trumpy now, and I'm just like, I can't. I, I just cannot with any of it. <laughs> I'm at the point with this country that like all this 4th of July decorations doesn't sit well with me because we're at a point where the American flag on any piece of anything hanging from your house, on your shirt, hanging from your fucking car, on a sticker on your car, whatever, it looks racist. Is it though? <laughs> like the fact that it was the symbol of like the protests against masks. Protests against masks? Evil. And it was a symbol for all lives matter and blue lives matter. Saying all lives matter and blue lives matter. Evil. It's like, it just, it screams racist to me. It screams colonizer. Well, perhaps you should like I don't know, go and take a lie down in a dark room for like half an hour or whatever and then perhaps the flags will stop screaming at you. It screams, I don't season my food. You know what I'm saying? So... No, oh, that is it. That is it, Missy. You have crossed the line saying that white people do not. Suggesting that white people don't season their food. I have it on good authority that Hillary Clinton carries hot sauce in her bag. What's, what's something that you always carry with you? Hot Just sauce. Really? You, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you getting information right now? Hot <laughs> sauce. Um, I don't want to celebrate Fourth of July anymore. Fourth of July is officially canceled. I am looking for employment opportunities outside of the United States. Well, you'll be pleased to know that you've come to just the right place because TikTok is the number one social network for finding employment in the ethos and associated wanker industries. I have a bachelor's degree in social work. My associates was in human services, specializing in addiction and have many years in that field. I also have many years in customer service, ranging from things like bartending to making coffee to serving. Really, I'm willing to do anything as long as it gets me out of this country. Shut the fuck up.